might well, it might have been the Wikipedia I sent him. Right. Because the Wikipedia I sent him said that the well worlds are definitely definitely dangerous. <laughs> Did you I don't know how that got there. Eric, did you hear the uh, movie trailer where you uh, go to New Mexico to shoot and then you suddenly become uh, a werewolf? No, or, I'm not. Here, I'll play it. I heard it. You heard it? <laughs> yeah, listen. I heard it. Eric, listen to this. Coming soon, the horrifying new film, A Midget Werewolf in Albuquerque. Cut. That's a wrap. Great job, Eric. You need a ride back to the hotel? No, man. I'll just drive my power chair through the moonlit desert by myself. I'll be fine. Okay, we'll see you on the set tomorrow, Eric. Oh, what a beautiful evening. Who's there? Witness the horrifying transformation. Well, it's time to jerk off. I'll just pull out my five-inch cat. Oh, ah, ah. oh, look at that beautiful full moon out my window. <laughs> A midget werewolf in Albuquerque coming soon. Yeah, I thought that was kind of good. What do you think, Eric? I love it. Eric? I think it's stupid, and I think Sal and Richard need to get lives. Right. Well, anyway, so you're not afraid of werewolves. You are going to New Mexico to shoot in plain sight. When will you yes. be shooting? We won't know that until after yeah. uh, Christmas. I see. Yeah, that, that's kind of still not completely decided yet. I know in acting they call the script sides. Have they sent you your sides? No. I see. And, well, this is exciting. I think all the fans will want to watch you on the show. Right. Right. And it was only a couple of small things that I wanted to check with Mr. Strauss about. Like, do they want me clean-shaved for this part or full beard, a little bit of facial hair or whatever. Can you grow and a beard? Then, yeah. I didn't know that. I thought you and had a problem I'll, with facial hair. No, it, it grows. I mean, not not perfectly, but it... Well, from what I understand, the part that you're being offered is you play a uh, a landlord of some kind? Right. Yeah, I would think a landlord would have a little bit of facial hair. Right. What do you think, I Johnny? Agree. Yeah, right? I agree. Yeah. You would have, I think you would have a lot of facial hair. You just got to start growing now. I'd like to see Eric with a beard <laughs> for this role. Well, he would have to start oh, growing it now if he, right. you know, because if they decide on beard, he's got to have some Eric, growth. Why don't you grow? Here's an idea. Grow the beard now. And if you get on set and they say, look, no beard, you can shave it. That's it. I'll, I'll take my shaver with me. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, Howard, did they send you the instructions I sent to John? I'll tell you one thing, Johnny. Every landlord I've ever had had a beard. Mine too. Yeah. And the, the other, the other small details were, you know, what was the weather like, so I knew what to pack yeah. to wear down there. Well, I'm pretty I sure. You just look on Google at Albuquerque, Eric, and not bother John with that. Yeah, but maybe that's wrong because they also said they have werewolves in Albuquerque, so you can't trust that. The fucking internet. Well, I can do this. The last I looked on there and I looked about the weather, Eric, it said it was going to be 40 below, so dress warm. What I like about what Eric's thinking is that, and this is something, this is why Eric is such a terrific actor. Here's a guy who's already thinking character, and he's thinking about would my character have a beard or not. I like right, that. Yeah. You know, this is the kind I of like commitment I, that I like to see, Eric. Yeah, I didn't even. Consider I that, see no. that once he gets through the negotiations, he's committed. <laughs> I gotta say, for all the hassle everyone went through, here's a guy sitting home saying, "I wonder if the landlord would have a beard." I like that. Uh, yeah, that is a good thing. Yeah, I mean, really, I'm being serious. But what about the power chair? I told him about the power chair, the one oh, thing yeah. that wasn't addressed. Oh. Yeah, the, the other thing is being, being a, you know, this is a traveling thing. I won't be able to have 
my power chair, so I didn't know if they were going to get another one for me to use on set or use my chair, my other manual wheelchair and have somebody push me or what then. You said the only one who could push you is Jan. Right. Oh, so then Jan would have to be on the show, too. Well, oh, in the scene, he'd have to be pushed by Jan? Yeah. Well, unless he has a power chair. then he. But what if they, what if they lock uh, Eric down and just have him kind of stationary, stationary. like they did on Fringe? Oh, that, that could be... Yeah. yeah. Have everybody come to Eric. She's like a teensy De Niro. I mean, really, the way he's thinking with the chair and the beard, I like it. I gotta say, this fucking guy is pretty good. <laughs> right? Like me, like me sitting at a desk or something like that. Well, I was thinking Howard. on Fringe, you sat on a um, like a subway bench, and then they had right. you sitting on the tracks of the subway. So I'm thinking maybe they could just position you like the way. Um, well, but Jerry Mahoney would always be positioned with Paul Winchell. You know, they'd always have him in a scene. But they wouldn't have to move him around so much. Like, maybe you don't have to be wheeled. Yeah. You know, right. that's how I'd like to see this go down. Hey, Howard, did you get the instructions to take care of Eric? I think it would be great if in this scene Eric was sitting on a shelf. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a peewee Pacino. <laughs> Or they strap him to a German Shepherd and he just rides him around like a horse. <laughs> like a Western. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 I'm watching that show if that happens. I'm definitely watching. If they strap him to a German Shepherd and put a saddle on a German Shepherd, I would I would so watch that. Put him on a people mover. You like know. How great would that be? Like Eric's one of these landlords that like is a tyrant and like he's got his beard. And suddenly, like, he comes strapped to a German shepherd, a killer German shepherd. And he's like, <laughs> and, like you know, he's, he's angry. That's a show. I, I'm agreeing. I wish I could write these shows. They don't let you me. You could write a show for Eric, but Eric won't be in it. Right. He wouldn't like it. Howard, did, did you see the instructions to take care of Eric? Did you get that email? I'm pushing that dark thing. What are the instructions? I sent him to I sent it to Will. Will for that, or Gary should have it. What is it? A it whole a, list? It's just a few things. It's only four things. Eric, you would never you ride a German Shepherd, would you? No, I would not ride. Wouldn't it be great? A and then, dog. The, and then I thought the, you like. And then the dog like rapes dog. one of the tenants. Yeah, I like <laughs> dogs. I'm not gonna ride on one like a horse. How great would that be, though, for your character to be an eccentric? You know, you got the and it would be a, it'd be a standout. You know, you'd be probably the first guy riding a dog. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that on a show. <laughs> I, no, you haven't. That'd be Howard, that would be Howard's invention, and, uh, and then you don't have never to be, been done. And then you don't have to be in a wheelchair. Because, I think that's a better shot at becoming a recurring role. You know, something like that. Yeah. The guy riding on the dog. <laughs> oh, I think they'd. Rec I think that would be all the a, time. Wouldn't you want to see that character again? I think Eric would get a spinoff. Like in other words, <laughs> by day he's a landlord that rides a German Shepherd, but at night he's a superhero. <laughs> yeah, right. He's wearing a mask and all that. Like call the call the dog and they come and get him. Fuck, I could build a whole show around that. I'd write that show <laughs> if Eric agreed to it. I would write it. Eric agreed to it. No, so don't write it. And then they'd be fighting werewolves. Don't oh, forget it. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. And the dog's name could be <laughs> Kelly for Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Yeah, like the, like the werewolf killer, Eric the werewolf killer. Maybe you wouldn't ride a dog, but may, uh, hey, would you ride a Shetland pony if uh, In Plain Sight writes it in? Like, in other words, you're a landlord, but the way you get around is on a pony. I don't know if that would work. Yeah. Why? Well, I mean... They could super glue you to that pony. Yeah, you're not coming off if they super glue you. No, but but seriously, in other words, Eric's issue is okay. He's a handicapped guy, he's, and it's hard to move around. And it's hard to move around. He's in a wheelchair, so like then it becomes like, do they have to rent a power chair? Do they have to need? Do they need a guy pushing him? And so it becomes very liberating as an actor when in Fringe they stuck him on a bench. <laughs> but I'm saying if he was on a Shetland pony because he was eccentric. All right, so he's he's a guy with handicaps, just like in real life. But his eccentricity is he insists on riding around on this pony, like like a. I like it. Yeah, right. And the, and like like when he knocks on the I door like to collect it. rent and shit, he like, you know, he's on his pony. He's on a pony, and everyone's like, "Wow, this fucking guy's You're insane." You're happy to see the landlord. Well, if, if, if the pony could ride it right into people's houses. Yeah, and then the, like, the pony kicks the door down when you don't pay your rent. Yeah, like a big back kick. 
Yeah, he has a big six shooter on his hip, wears a big cowboy hat. He's eccentric. I, I see him in a kerchief and a cowboy yeah. hat. Yeah. Open the door. I'm here for the Yeah, this is a good one. Well, he's got a, a landlord. He's got, a, he's got a Western <laughs> accent. You know that, right, Hart? No, I didn't know that. He does it. He, Eric, do your Western accent. Do it. Oh, brother. Just do it. You made me stay up till 3 in the morning. Do the fucking accent. <laughs> Now listen to this, you guys. You won't believe this. Go ahead. Hi, y'all. Happy holidays. Wow. <laughs> I would do that. Hey, there. Can I say something? Why can't the landlord do that accent? Seriously. The landlord should do that accent. Hey, y'all. Oh. What's happening here? I need my rent money right now. But, but, but Eric, the landlord's mad. Because that guy's a hoarder. So what would you say then to, to the mad landlord who's a hoarder? What would you say to him in that accent? Why does your place have to be so messy? So messy. <laughs> so messy. Wild Bill Midget. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, you're pretty good. I love the thought going into the beard. I think you should. I mean, that's my idea that you ride a horse in this thing, like a Shetland pony or a, a German Shepherd. And uh, if not, then just discuss with uh, the uh, executive producer whether or not you're going to be in a power chair. But uh, I think the chair is limiting. Yeah, the pony. I think the pony, Eric. That, I think you got something with the pony. A Shetland pony, so you don't get thrown or anything. They're, those are very yeah. tame. Same I thing. think that if he has to be wheeled around, yeah. he should be in a shopping cart. Oh, like an eccentric kind of yeah. shop. Like he doesn't have enough money for a wheelchair. Right, he's not in a wheelchair, he's in a shopping cart. Robin brings up a good point. It's a little tame, but I can go for that. Being in a shopping cart? Yeah. yeah. Or a baby carriage. <laughs> baby carriage. <laughs> baby carriage would be good. Or yeah. a pig. He could ride a hog, like a big giant pig. Well, if he's not riding anything, <laughs> he could be on a... He, I like the, the baby carriage. Uh, one... one <laughs> One criticism I have of him plain sight, and I love Mary and I love the show, but, you know, they need some eccentric characters on there, like a guy who rides a pig. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? All of a sudden, it becomes very edgy. Like, hey, did this you see him plain sight? Yeah, Mary? would you mind a pig? A pig is pretty low to the ground. You know, a Shetland pony might be scary. Would you ride a pig? No. No. Mm. <laughs> Howard, there was there was one issue that did come up that Eric uh, <laughs> knows about, but I don't think he would address it, and that's this. When John Strauss was doing the research on Fringe to uh -huh. find out how much Eric actually made, yeah. there was a discrepancy of of uh that Jan got sixty dollars as a stipend. And Eric got 75, and Jan did not know Eric got 75. He thought he got 62. Oh. Mm. So I'm a little concerned that Eric might have, uh, you know, he might have not been chopping that up with Jan, right? Did you guys, uh, did you guys address the whole Jan thing and what he's going to get paid? Yeah, I no. <laughs> no, we didn't. Why oh, yeah, yeah. Well, he's going to get the, yeah, he's going to get some uh, moving money and all that, yeah. Oh, he is. Yeah, yeah. No, that was done. They they were very kind. And and, and the money went up. He, they were very, very generous with the money. You mean and, it was uh, more, they gave him more than 3000 Yes, they did. Wow. Look at you, Eric. Eric. That's impressive. Yeah. Very impressive. What did you finally end up getting? 